but I'm gonna go and show you guys how to go and make some pixel sub badges. I get my inspiration from Pinterest. When I'm trying to come up with like ideas for badges or whatever, especially for pixel art, I like looking on Pinterest. So I just looked up pixel icons. You can see a lot of like cute different pixel art icons somebody made. Obviously don't, di don't like literally copy it word for word, like completely copy their art. I want to make some food inspired ones. So these little ones are really cute. What if I make pixel sushi? Oh, these are really cute. These are really, really, really cute. Maybe make some pixel sushi. All right, but we're gonna go to this app called Piskill. It's a free online sprite editor. We're gonna click that and then we're gonna click the sprite things first. On the very right hand side here, we're gonna click resize. It defaults you to 32 by 32. I like, let's work in one, 112 by 112. Let me resize this. You know what, sure, we'll do this, we'll do this. We'll do, we'll do 32 by 32, I'll use the default size. Okay, so first and foremost, you wanna um, obviously draw your... Oh, why is it triggering? My tablet's being hella weird. Okay, so one thing that you can do is kind of like draw a sketch if you would like. So I wanna make sushi, right? So what you can do in Piskel is you can create a new layer. So it toggles off the layer below. So you can make a sketch layer beneath it and draw on top of it. I'm gonna make a second sketch layer though because I want this to be larger. My tablet's being kind of weird though right now. This layer, delete select layer. So this is now my new sketch layer. Okay, so now that we have our sketch, I always sketch in green. That's me personally. So I'm gonna go click create layer and make a new layer on top of it. So now I'm gonna use the actual pen tool and I'm going to go and draw. So I'm drawing over my sketch here. Let me make sure everything lines up. I think that's one too much. Um, one thing about pixel art, you don't want, you don't want your um, lines to look like this. So you see, you see, you see kind of what's happening here, where it looks like um, it looks very zigzaggy like that. When you're making curves in pixel art, you should make it one. It should look like a, um, it should look like a bunch of boxes going diagonally rather than a set of stairs. If it looks like a set of stairs, if this is supposed to be sushi. When it looks like a set of stairs like this, what ends up happening, this is just a pixel art technique, it makes your corners look very thick. So you can do it if you like that style. Sometimes you might do a little bit of erasing, but that's fine. Take this eraser. I'm trying to make it look a little bit multi-dimensional here. Okay, so now we have the inside thing. So now if I delete the sketch layer, our sushi kind of looks like this. This is the sushi line art. All right, I'm gonna make another layer and then move layer below. And then this is where you're gonna go and color everything in. So this comes to with regular color theory. I'm gonna make the sushi rice like slightly whitish, bluish. You can also see the thumbnail here size best size preview right there six times so in this corner you can kind of see how the sub badge is gonna look like so I want to fill this in I like Photoshop better because I can use cl the clipping masks to clip layers so it works better for me personally but here's the rice we're gonna create a layer on top and then that's gonna be the seaweed so I'm gonna use this like bluish color for the seaweed. Maybe I use a darker, darker bluish color. Okay. Here's our sushi with the flat colors. You can see how it looks in right here. So we have, we have that coming along. Now what I need to do is to shade everything green. It's for the, um, I was imagining it as if it was cucumber. That was kind of what I was imagining. All right, now we have the rice. So I'm gonna grab the color picker here. And then you kind of just shade it as if you were normally shading like line art or something. So if I were to um, be shading a sushi roll, I would maybe put a little bit of a, a little bit of like dithering there, I guess. And then uh, probably some more white actually. A 
a little bit more shadows like that. A little bit of dots and stuff. Um, here, let me color select the white. And then I would probably be like soften this up a little bit here. Okay, I made this shading very soft. Now I want to pick like a pure white or like close to white to kind of add a little bit of highlight, although it probably isn't going to show up very much. It's very light. A little bit of a little bit of highlight going on, you know, for for our little sushi roll and then maybe a little bit more shadows as well. So I'm going to grab the color picker darker. I'm going to make this color a little bit darker. A little bit bluer. Oh, it's actually very blue. Hold on. And then I'm gonna pick like an even darker color to add a little bit more shadow to this. Why does it seem so dark? Okay, cause it's on the end. Everything is like transparent. You can see the thumbnail here. If I pop this out. Like this is how it looks like right now. Okay, this is supposed to look like imitation crab. If it looks like salmon, that's close enough. Salmon's a sushi piece too. It looks fine by me. Hi, Fawn. Fawn, how are you? So here's my sushi. The last thing I need to do now, I think it looks fine. I love the shading on the seaweed. Thank you, handsome. The last thing I need to do is change the line art color because I made everything black and I don't want everything to be black. So I'm just gonna... This is why I prefer Photoshop because I can use a clipping mask, you know? But um, here I gotta manually draw over it. So I'm coloring the line art because I don't like it when the line art looks too distracting in terms of like different color shades or whatever. So I like the coloring to be similar or like I like it to be softer looking. So coloring the line art makes it look softer even within pixel art I like doing this. Okay. All right, so now our, hey, where'd my sushi badge go? Did I pop out? Here's my preview. See, look, now our sushi looks a lot softer because I colored the line art. Now, the last thing I wanna add is just a little bit, a little bit of a highlight. So, um, oh, like a backlight, I guess. So this is the other, this is the seaweed. So I'm gonna color select this, grab my pen. I'm gonna pick a darker color though, and then use the slight one and then I am just going to color over some of the shading here and add a little bit of a backlight. Like that. So now it looks a little softer. Or let me put one here. All right, so now our sushi roll looks a little shinier. There's a little bit more spice to it, you know what I mean? With a little backlight. So I personally like doing this. It's just my personal art style. And here is it popped out in full, how our sushi, first sushi pixel art badge looks like. So, you know, I ain't mad about this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on the very side here. We're going to hit um, export and then I want to download it as a PNG. So we're going to sprite sheet file export right there. Download. And then if I were to open it, Okay, it's small as fuck, but if I zoom in, this is what it looks like here. Wait, the badge looks so cute already. I wanna, okay, if I were to test it real fast in their inspect elements, let me just get rid of the frogs that I was adding in here. All right, you could, oh, it already looks so good. And Editing Cat here, they're actually available now on my Etsy shop if you do want to cop your own set of 7 pixel sushi badges. Peace!